factory's building. You guys are good. Uh, we've got some housing, some roading based issues, which I do not have time for. So you get the hell out of here. Oh, we're losing money. Why are we losing so much money? What is costing us? I, I will tax you if you make me lose money. Factories. Give me some of that, that good dollar. Robo vans. Self-driving vans that capture fugitives. Oh, well, that just sounds fantastic. Yeah, give me give me some robo van. Android recall weapon shop. Ooh. Okay. Okay, right, we've got a robot. Robot smashing place. We are making absolute cash money. Okay. Pretty good. Dystopia level five. Making loads of money from our new factories. Giant screen of truth. Okay, well, that sounds just perfect. Giant screen of truth. Just how giant is this giant screen of truth? I only guess pretty big. Wow, that is actually a pretty big screen. Court criminals roam free. What the heck? Um, okay, right. We can we can look at some of this stuff. What is this? Identify jailed. Do I? Okay, we've got a lot of criminals. We started catching a load. Uh, unrest was high, but I think that giant screen. Everyone suddenly realised that they are valued. We've got a big Android problem. Kind of chill on the distance. Do we really need to go back down to layer thirteen? To put the prison cells in. Uh, well, you know what? The the layer thirteen guys, they can they can stay where they are. I ain't going back down there just because it takes a lot of time to click through all of the sub layers um, and does a weird camera offsetting thing, which is really annoying. Uh, so crime, underground jails. You're coming in here, right by the the shaft. What's the upkeep on these? I just want I just want all the prisoners to you know go to jail. Wow, look at those cars just like flying away. Uh, <laughs> where are you going, buds? Make them away downtown, walking fast. Criminals jailed. Are we gonna start to see a decline in street crime? I'd like that to be a little bit less street crime, but in turn, I guess it's fine if there's a little bit. I think this is new, new London for now. We've got a big factory district. We've got some like buildings and stuff coming in. Uh. These guys, they generally seem pretty relaxed. Everyone seems pretty happy. Um, oh, we could give them eye augmentations while we're here. Anyone want an eye org? Is that gonna allow you to upgrade now? Can't advance why? In range of eye augmentation. You are in the range. Do you not have water? No one has water. Ah, oh, nuts. Oh, is this a level three? Level three, the K3 complex. Okay, currently no water, but that's bad. And what do you need? Brain augmentation. Okay, how do you get a brain augmentation? 20,000 poor population. We have half of that. Okay, we've kind of set up like a new district for a whole load more factories. Uh, we've got some stuff that will hunt down, oh no. Android's already escaping. That's the last thing we wanted to have happen. Uh, so yeah, if people want to come and move in, uh, they super can. Uh, something that they don't have is uh, water though. And any second now, they're all gonna try and turn on their taps. And that is not gonna work. Okay, and while we're down here, I'm just gonna slam in a whole load of uh, water, water stuff. I think maybe it's minor overkill. But we've got a whole new factory area. Um, I want to make sure that everyone is super, super cool, super fine. Okay, factories are coming up. Oh, these have all upgraded. Can't advance. I imagine they want Android level fours, positive factory desirability and low crime. Oh, nuts, we don't have any of that. <laughs> okay, right, we have not planned for that situation. Uh, a lot of people are moving in, which is great. Are they gonna want more? Oh, they just they just want brain augmentation. They don't even care about crime. Well, that is good. Because crime is what you have. Oh, this like wasteland, which is still kind of bubbling away. 
Uh, what we could put in here, not you, waste silos. Doing a couple of waste silos. Oh, it literally is just like a giant cr trash can. Okay, they're kind of cute, actually. Yeah, come and dump this. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe that's a bit far from my residential area. I kind of feel like it should be closer. And more disgusting. Okay, we're just rapidly, rapidly gaining more people. Maybe it'd be nice to, like, not nice, but fun to put some houses in the rubbish dump. You know, for fun. <laughs> because that's that's what I want. That's what I want for my horrible dystopian uh, dystopian game. Oh, is that the mega police van flying around? Okay, you're cool. Still rapidly climbing. Factories are coming in. Other stuff is coming in. You guys all seem relatively okay. Whoa, what are you? Everyone just like, are those androids just being waved around in boxes? This is, that's how androids go mad. Uh, so you, you get the android, you stick them in a the box, and then you just, god, you really like waggle them around. Um, I think I can understand now why sometimes the androids rise up and they want to kill the humans. Because I think I'd be pretty mad if someone started, uh, you know, hitting me, me with the old waggle box. Well, um, I don't think we're going to be able to upgrade those factories because we we need to lower the crime rate. And that is something, as mayor, I am not prepared to do. Crime benefits many people in this city. Probably me. Maybe the criminals. <laughs> oh, geez. Dystopia level 62. That's a lot of dystopia. What is the main problem? Civil unrest. What do we need? More giant screens of truth. Okay, we've kind of just like ringed this whole area with uh, just nightmare. Convincing squads. I want convincing squads. Not available yet in early access. Oh, but I want to convince people. Whether they chose a truncheon, um, I would have said you just make a persuasive, persuasive argument. But I guess you could make a really good persuasive argument with the old truncheon. That is incredible. Maybe this is like a more fun way to build your city. You add add on the giant screens of truth, which are ridiculous, and I love them. And then just come in, get another round of um, poor residential. We've got some road-based chaos hanging out by here. Uh, for some reason, it got real, real squiffy, but... We can handle that. We can put in some other bits. Oh god, it went really bonkers down this area. Okay, are we getting more people? Like, days are not passing. Okay, I just added in, like, a new district up onto the back. They've got their screens, they've got their, like, augmentations and stuff. They even have water, if you can believe it or not. Um, and in the meantime... Right, I want to take out this area. Bonk. And I don't know how far into it we're going to go, but um, your whole city does not have to be a dystopia. You can actually make it pretty nice. But I think if it's going to be pretty nice, you sort of have to be rich people. Okay, so we're building this platform up here. I am generous, so if poor people want to squat underneath the tower, maybe um, when they're the rich people are eating their, I don't know, caviar stuffed duck liver or whatever rich folk eat. Um, maybe some crumbs will drop down and you can gobble them up. And uh, yeah, let's go up into the sky above uh, all the disgusting poor folk. Not who we want to be hanging out with. Uh, here, rich residentials. Oh, wait a second. Oh, this whole build isn't going to work because I need roads on the outside. Oh, actually, wait, I can have hover roads. So this will work. I'm a genius. Man, never, ever doubt yourself. Just stone cold believe you are always right. That's what you got to do if you're going to be cyber there. But we have finally unlocked... Public Augmentation Brain! Neuralink. Neuralink is kind to provide a cognitive brain implants uh, for free to the poorest citizen. Oh, Brain Link. Uh, why are these guys super salty sad? 
Is it because they don't have eye upgrades? Oh! Oh, they're building! They're building! <laughs> oh, look at it. Look at the buildings. Look how big they are. And these buildings actually come with their own rooftops. And so we can just come on in here and just like, oh, rich people, you say? Now I can just have rich people live up on top of the poor people. Uh, give me, uh, give me these screens of truth. That is one hundred percent what you want standing on top of your mega structure. Uh oh, Androids revolt. New, new London Globe. A group of rogue androids barricades into a building, turning it into a fort. They'll live there, trying to stay low, and move on with their electronic life. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's no good. Okay, so we've got the start of a few rich people moving in, but it turns out the rich people. Oh, oh, fuck me. Okay, so we've got a few rich people have moved in. Not a lot. They've got these, like, sort of swanky apartments up here, which is kind of cool. And they've got their own offices. See, they do get to live hundreds of feet above the rest of the city. Um, and over in this sort of area, I thought, you know what? Let's just give them some more mega screens, uh, because that lets everyone know what they should be thinking all the time. I mean, our factories and stuff all have super upgraded. Oh, pal, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed a little look at Skid Cities. Um, yeah, the game's pretty cool. Man, I really, really like the dystopian vibe. Bear in mind, you could build a complete different style of city. Uh, you can make a very rich, affluent, uh, fancy people city. But that ain't, that ain't what I'm in for. Uh, the game is definitely pretty early access at the moment. There's a bunch of bugs. It kind of has some, like, frame rate drops and stuff like that. Um, also, man, uh, when you've got something selected, why, why can't I right-click to get rid of it? I have to click the button to get rid of it. Man, I hate that. Like, it is just a tiny little thing that erodes my soul. Complaining over. I couldn't make a game. Um, I can barely even make content about a game. Uh, but, man, I'm really, really excited to see where this goes, because the game looks ace. Uh, it's very pretty, very, very cool, and um, just love, love this style. Man, I wish there was more kind of dystopian city builders. Like, kind of near future that isn't super clean and clean and pretty. Love it. Well, until next time, everybody. See ya!